Miami Heat Courtside is sponsored by Opera Tower. I'm Israel Gutierrez, and this is Miami Heat Courtside. If there's one element the Heat would like to have perfected entering the playoffs, it's the team's defense. So it might be somewhat disconcerting that the defense has been far from perfect over the past several games. In fact, since Mike Bibby became the starting point guard on March 23rd, that he has given up a troubling 101 points a game. That would appear to signal that Bibby's presence is a significant problem for the Heat defensively, but it might not be that easy to assess. Defensively, no, Bibby isn't the presence that Mario Chalmers is. While Bibby is steadier offensively, he doesn't have the length to disrupt teams like Chalmers has, nor does he have the same defensive instincts. But pointing to Bibby as the sole reason for the Heat's defensive lapses of late is too simplistic. For starters, opposing point guards haven't been the primary problem for the Heat. The Heat gave up 119 points to a Houston team that's potent from everywhere on the floor. And the 102 it allowed in a loss to Cleveland was mostly the result of the Cavaliers' activity up front. The other factor that's unfair for Bibby is his lack of continuity with this team. No, Bibby won't lock up an opposing point guard, but that doesn't mean he isn't a good system defender. As long as he gets comfortable with the Heat's defensive principles, which takes more than a few days, Bibby won't be a significant liability come playoff time. The Heat can also protect Bibby in the playoffs by switching him onto a less dangerous offensive player. That's what the team did Sunday by having him guard Anthony Morrow against the Nets instead of Darren Williams. Overall, the Heat's defense won't live and die with Bibby, but with the play up front of Chris Bosh, LeBron James, and whatever center happens to be in the game. James has been picking up charges of late, while Bosh has appeared more active in disrupting shots around the rim. And if Eric Dampier's 14 rebound performance against the Nets is any indication, he's prepared to really contribute come playoff time as well. So no, Bibby isn't the ideal defensive presence at point guard for Miami, but as long as the rest of the Heat players commit to defense for entire games, it's unlikely that side of the floor will be an issue come playoff time. For the Miami Herald, I'm Israel Gutierrez. Soaring 60 stories above Miami skyline is one of the world's most unique hotels, Opera Tower Suites and Marina. Opera Tower offers three distinct ways to experience unparalleled luxury. In addition, a vast array of resort caliber amenities, including an oversized heated pool with Whirlpool Spa, fully equipped fitness center with aerobics room, million dollar views, and a location that is unsurpassed for work or play. Miami's ultimate hotel and corporate rental suites and marina.